Last December, a plane crash in Canada killed a third of the men in one battalion of the 101st Airborne Division. 189 members of that battalion died at Gander. Today, the rebuilding process is underway for the families of the dead and for the battalion. These days, the 101st Airborne Division walks on walls, swings through the air, and shouts air assault as it goes. It considers itself the finest division in the United States Army. Tough, well-trained, an elite outfit. What you see here represents a swift recovery in the best traditions of the division. Just seven weeks ago, 248 men and women of the 101st were killed in the crash of their chartered plane at Gander, Newfoundland. One battalion lost a third of its men. In war, such casualties would have taken it out of action. Today, it's back up to strength and training hard under the watchful eye of Major Steve Roy. We're not quite halfway where we want to be. And, uh, and I think when we come back from our field training in February, we'll, we'll, be, uh, we'll be all the way there. Four days after the crash, their commander-in-chief came to Fort Campbell, Kentucky, to honor the dead. Tragedy is nothing new to mankind, but somehow it's always a surprise. It never loses its power to astonish. I know that there are no words that can make your pain less or make your sorrow less painful. Oh, I wish there were. Colonel John Hurling, commander of the brigade, which includes the hard-hit battalion, thinks the unit will recover faster than the families. An army unit that works and trains and lives together has a very <clears throat> great ability to respond and come back. It's part of our training. I think uh, all of us realize, particularly those of us that have been in combat, that's the way it has to be. Get motivated, people. Sound off. On the the men of the 101st proudly remind visitors that it was the division surrounded at Bastogne during the Battle of the Bulge. The division whose commander, General Anthony McAuliffe, said nuts when the Germans demanded his surrender. Like in World War II and, and Bastogne, I mean, one just this, a few people hold off an entire German attack. I mean, that says something for the uh, character of the people. We get good training here, air assault, school, and all this other training we have here. We, we consider ourselves elite, sir. You have to look at that shoulder patch, sir. It, it means a lot. Go, go. To get back to where it was before the crash that took so heavy a toll, this elite unit is doing just what it has always done, stressing the basics, teaching its men to work together, 
teaching them to depend on each other. Back up. Don't look down, 616. You're looking down again. Threat vehicle. Friendly vehicle. You will be fine as target number B. As in Bravo. The man assigned to rebuild the battalion was Lieutenant Colonel Harry Rothman. He thinks the tragedy has helped build morale. We're now turning the page, as one of my superiors has told me, which is a very appropriate analogy. We're turning the page in another chapter in the history of this division, and uh, we're moving on. And uh, the unit will be a, uh, the battalion will be a good one. It is a good one. And uh, once we get everything put back together, is it uh, just a matter of time before uh, one will be back to where we were, but even better. Each in its own way and at its own pace, the affected units of the 101st and the families of the dead have begun rebuilding their lives, putting the crash behind them. The history of the 101st resounds with place names from America's past. Normandy, Bastogne, Vietnam, the Sinai, Gander. Their history reflects the way Americans see themselves, able to fight, ready to keep the peace, risking lives in the cause of idealism. Who else but an idealist? would choose to become a member of the armed forces and put himself or herself in harm's way for the rest of us. You can't waste a life or anything like that, but with the same respect, you know, I'd, I'd be willing to give my life for my country. I hope everybody else would be too. But tell you, this the whole thing, you know, is picking up and everybody's morale is up knowing what everybody got to do, you know, they just all take pride in what they have to do. 